Hello guys, my name is Ansh Deep and welcome back to my YouTube channel where you can get updates regarding recruitment process and interview experience of different companies and many more other job related updates. Today I am going to share my TCS digital interview experience, how I cleared the TCS digital interview and got selected in TCS at the package of 7 LPA on digital profile. Please do like and share the video. So let's get start. TCS Digital is a job profile in TCS which gives you a chance to work in digital technologies at a package of 7 LPA. After clearing TCS NQT, Aptitude Verbal and Reasoning test, I got selected in Ninja Toppers list. Then I have to appear for TCS Digital Coding test. After clearing it, I am selected for digital interview in TCS. So in this video, I am sharing my interview experience for the digital profile interview. I received the mail regarding my interview schedule and meeting login credentials Monday before the interview at 8.40 pm and my interview is on next day between 11 to 3 pm time slot. Interview went approx 35 to 40 minutes as the interview is virtual due to COVID-19. It is on Bevex meeting application. Uh, there were uh, three people in my panel, in my interview panel. Uh, one is uh, TR, MR and HR interviewers. Most of the questions asked uh, were from my project, subject of interest and still mentioned in my resume. So prepare your resume well. So let's start with questions asked by technical interviewer in technical round. Firstly, he asked me to show my ID card and all marks of 10th, 12th and VTEC till 6th semester. After showing it, uh, he started, he said that uh, uh, introduce yourself in brief uh, in approx 4 to 5 minutes. Mm, then I introduced myself. After that, he asked me about my projects that I am accomplished. After that, uh, he started question, questioning from projects. Uh, he asked which technologies you have used in your projects and uh, uh, after that I tell him that AI ML technologies I am using. Then he said he started with uh, doing cross questioning from the projects. My project is totally based on the machine learning. He asked, started to ask questions from machine learning like what is supervised learning, what is unsupervised learning and uh, all these. And then he gave me a situation in which I have to tell him where can I use supervised and unsupervised learning and how can I differentiate between them. Like uh, there is a cricket match is going on and uh, we have to manage all the things then scorecard, people and all the things. We have to check tickets and all the, all these things and where we can use these technologies, where we can use supervised learning and where we can use unsupervised learning. And few more questions from machine learning basic questions uh, after that he asked me advantages and future scope of my project after that he asked two three more questions uh, from my project and uh, uh, like uh, which database I am using in my project relational or non-relational why I am not using relational database why I am using non-relational database and the reason behind it after that uh, he asked me which programming language I know myself uh, on a scale of 1 to 5 and uh, he asked me difference between SQL and no SQL in last he asked uh, a question like one coding problem uh, he said me to open my notepad and write the solution on notepad uh, question is find number of uh, leap years between two given years there are two years like 2010 and 2020 we have to find the number of leap years between 2010 to 2020 for example so these questions were asked by technical interviewer basically asked questions related to my projects and the area of interest that i mentioned in my resume after this uh, manager round started and the mr interviewer introduced himself and get started with the questions uh, like uh, he he started uh, with question like being a team lead how will you manage or solve the situation of technical issue in one of the module of project member in this work from home situation like in this work from home situation like suppose uh, you your team member is 
facing some technical issue in in, the, in some part of project then how will you manage it if the problem is remaining and it is not solving again and again then what will you do he is just checking your approach how to how you solve it after that he asked me being a team lead how you handle the situation when there is conflict in the decisions of the team members if there are uh, many team members in your project group and you are the team lead leader of the group and there are conflict in the decisions of the members then uh, how will you handle it and you have to just tell them the basics how you handle them and then he asked me what is your role in your project are you a team member or a leader and then he asked me how do you work under pressure and uh, after that at last he asked me do you have any relative or friend who is already working in tcs these are the so these type of questions are in managerial round basically questions based on real world problems or scenarios they generally want to check that uh, what is your approach to solve or tackle any situation how will you handle it basically at last hr round started and the interviewer asked general questions like are you able to relocate uh, and then he asked me about the backlogs if you have any backlogs and i said no sir he asked the reason about my one year gap after 12 that is for jms preparation and why you why you want to join tcs and uh, the strength and weaknesses and uh, if you get selected for tcs then you are able to work at night if required or not the night shifts about night shifts and after this he told me about the bond and he at last he asked at last he asked me do you have any questions for me and i asked one question like uh, which technology should i enhance my skills which help me to grow in tcs then he tell explain me about the some some technologies and some algorithms so, uh, which i should uh, work on so these are the questions which were asked from me during interview in all the three rounds tr mr and hr respectively this is all about my interview experience so there are few tips and strategies to follow from my side for clearing tcs digital interview like um, first thing is you should prepare your resume well very well anything you have written you should know this the thing which you have written in your resume prepare one two projects well related to advanced technologies like ai ml iot blockchain cloud computing and uh, the main thing is so confidence throughout the interview didn't show the interview any nervousness that you are feeling nervous or anything else don't hesitate to ask questions try to make them believe that you are really interested in the job profile when you did not know the answer for a question simply say no sir or i am not able to recall it right now so these are some tips for clearing tcs digital interview thank you please do like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates for any query please ask in comment box thank you